Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Hey, in today's video, I want to show you how to set up OneDrive and OneNote on the new Kindle Scribe ColorSoft and then explore what the functionality is of both of those. This would work the same, I'm sure, with Google Drive. I just don't have access to that. Uh, but let's go ahead and dig in and I'll show you how this works. All right, I'm going to navigate across the bottom. We have Home, Library, Workspace, and more. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to Workspace. So just a reminder that Workspace is where you can keep not only your handwritten documents, but now in the new version of the software, you can also uh, include PDFs, EPUBs, uh, books that you bought from Kindle, all of those things can live within the same uh, workspace or area uh, as you have your handwritten documents. You can also have folders, subfolders, and those types of things. So anyway, let's go ahead and look and see how you make this connection. In the top right hand corner, you have three icons. The first of those icons are what we're going to be after and where it says add connection. I'm just going to click on that. All right, so I have the option of adding Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, and Microsoft OneNote. As I said, I don't have Google Drive, so let's go ahead and uh, set up OneDrive. I'm going to hit Connect. Now, it gives me two different methods for connecting. I can scan the QR code, and uh, then it will take me through the process, like on my phone, uh, to be able to do that. Or I could also navigate to Amazon.com slash Kindle slash Connection slash Add, input this code, go through all my login process, and uh, can do it that way. I'll enter that number at that point and be able to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do both methods. Uh, I'm going to do for OneDrive, I'll do the scan the QR code. And for OneNote, I'll do the website version. So let's go ahead and set up uh, OneDrive using the, the first method. So I'm going to open the um, camera app on my phone. As you can see, when I hover over the QR code, I get the little yellow pop-up on my iPhone that says Open in Chrome. Works very similar if you have an Android device, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. All right, and it says Kindle integration, Microsoft OneDrive. I'm going to continue. It's going to ask me to sign in. I'm going to go ahead and do that off uh, camera. You would need to know your login information. And then it says confirm sign on or sign in. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And then I get a confirmation that I am connected to OneDrive. All right, also in my email, I got a confirmation that uh, welcome to Kindle Scribe with OneDrive. It kind of takes you through some quick tips, how to find your imported files, uh, finding your exported files, where they're going to be located. Uh, so some pretty handy tips if you take some time to read over that. All right, when we come back to the Kindle, you'll notice that the screen changed. I didn't do anything to this. It just automatically changed and said Microsoft OneDrive connected. I'm going to click OK. All right. And then we'll dig into OneDrive in just a minute, but I want to go ahead and use the other method for connecting to OneNote. So I'm going to go ahead and say connect. All right, this time we're going to go to this website, and I'll just do this on my phone. All right, so I went ahead and keyed into my web browser, Amazon.com slash Kindle slash connection slash add. So I'm going to go ahead and click go. Now it's going to ask me to enter my uh, mobile number or email. I log in uh, using a pass key. So I'm going to go ahead and do this pass key real quick. I've got two-step verification set up, so it's going to uh, ask me to enter a code that it's going to text to me. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. And uh, now it's going to ask me to enter this device code. So let's go ahead and do this. Now it tells me that OneNote is connected. I'm going to hit continue. It's going to ask me to sign in again. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. And it asked me if I want to stay signed in. I'm going to say yes. All right, so now I have a OneDrive connection and I have a OneNote connection. You'll see similar to what it did with OneDrive, uh, the screen changed here and it says that Microsoft OneNote is connected. So I'm going to say OK. All right, so here's how you use these. I want you to think about the basics of this. OneDrive is how we're going to get documents on and off the device that are PDF, EPUB uh, type documents. Microsoft OneNote is for your handwritten notes, so documents that you create on the device. Uh, this is going to be a way for you to offload those and store them in uh, in OneNote. So let's go ahead and we'll dig into this. All right, so the first thing that we'll try is we're going to go ahead and import a file from OneDrive. So I'm going to come up to the same icon where I created the connection, and I'm just going to go into my Microsoft OneDrive. It says import from Cloud Drive, view and import files from your Cloud Drive to your Kindle's library and workspace. Press and hold import for advanced settings. All right, so I'm going to go into, first of all, I'm going to sort this um, by file name and ascending. Uh, that makes more sense to me. That's the way that I've got it set. 
I'm going to go into one of my folders here. I'm going to import a file, uh, a template that I've built for taking sermon notes that's specifically for the scribe. I think I mentioned on a previous video, when you uh, create templates for your scribe, you need to be aware that you cannot use graphics or icons or anything like that as hyperlinks. It has to be text characters. You can overlay that stuff and make it work if you wanted to, but I found that it's just better to, to use text characters. So I'm going to go ahead and click on import, but first I'm going to hold down what they said for advanced options. So you can change the name uh, of the document that you were um, importing. You can also add to workspace, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Whoops. And I'm going to say which folder I want to put it in. I'm just going to say, let's just put it in my personal folder in the root directory or the main directory of my uh, uh, personal folder and hit select. And now I'm just going to go ahead and hit import. Importing may take a few minutes. And by the way, if you did not do the advanced options by holding down the word import, it's just going to put that file into your library. And then, of course, you can move it from your library to a workspace um, at a later time if you want to do that. Okay, that took about 30, 40 seconds, something like that to do. Now that it is uh, imported, I've got the option of opening the file. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, you can see my cover page here. So I built this for sermon notes. It's got 44 sections. Uh, we're going to go ahead and test annotating this. So I'm going to turn it sideways because I'm a lefty. Uh, let's just say, um, you know, this week's sermon is... Uh, Christmas story. I'm going to click on that section. I'll come over here and put Christmas story. I can put the pastor's name. I can put the date. Uh, let's just say it's 1231, 25. And then, uh, you know, I can come over here and put scripture references. Um, and then I can take my notes here and then I have four pages in total that I can take notes on. I've got a link back to my index to be able to come back over here. Anyway, so we have marked up this PDF file. Uh, we can now send this back to OneDrive if we'd like to. So let me get back out of it, go back into my personal folder where that file exists. Here it is. I can click on the three dots that you see down here and I can say share. And then I've got OneDrive as an option. I can also send this via email if I want to. And under Send To, um, I can also, you know, change the different uh, email addresses. Uh, this one defaults to my email address, um, but I can send it to other people as well. So let's go back and hit Share. Let's do OneDrive. It tells you that it's going to put it into your My Files and then a Kindle File folder. And the format is going to be PDF. So let's go ahead and upload this file. It says uploading to your Microsoft OneDrive. Your file will appear in OneDrive's Kindle Scribe folder. It may take a few minutes to arrive. Changes made on your Kindle won't sync automatically. So uh, I had some questions for some, from some viewers about PDFs. Where does the document live? Are you actually editing the document on the OneDrive? Or is it, does it make a copy onto your Kindle Scribe? Uh, that you have to send back to OneDrive. And that last uh, is true. It You're actually editing a copy of that file, not the live file on the OneDrive. So when you send it back, it's going to um, you know send it back with your annotation. So we will give this just a few minutes to sync up, and then I'll show that to you. Okay, I'll show you on my phone. I have a folder now that's called Kindle Scribe that the Kindle created. And here's my Sermon Notes Scribe slash Kindle uh, that I just sent back. As you can see, I've got my annotations for Christmas Story that I put in there. My hyperlinks still do work. And there you can see I made the notes, uh, the handwritten notes uh, came out as well. So uh, let's test the hyperlink for the index to make sure that that takes us back to the main page. As an ultimate test, I'll hit uh, note number 39 and see if that took me to uh, you're not going to be able to see this on the video. There you go. It took me to note 39. When I click on the index, it takes me back to the index. So everything is working. My annotations were exported correctly, uh, intact, and also, uh, most importantly for me, because I use a lot of hyperlinked PDF files, 
it maintained my hyperlink. All right, so now let's take a look at OneNote and how we can get handwritten notes uh, off of this device and into OneNote. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new notebook. I'm just going to create, uh, just call it testing OneNote. And I'm going to say just a blank template. We don't need a template for this. And we will just write really big. OneNote test. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and from within the note, let's see if we can share it here. I'm going to say share. I've got the option to do uh, to share the current page or to share the entire notebook. I'll just say the entire notebook. It's only one page long. You just saw it uh, created. And then uh, my options here are I can you know send it via email. I can convert it to text and send it to email. I can send it to OneDrive as a PDF file if I wanted to do that. But let's go ahead and test out uh, the OneDrive or I'm sorry the OneNote. It tells me that it's going to put it in my files, documents, and a Kindle Scribe uh, notebook that it's going to create. So let's go ahead and uh, and then also it says keep handwriting. Uh, it's going to be a PNG image, or I can convert it to text as well. Let's just go ahead and upload this with my handwriting. It says uploading to your Microsoft OneDrive. It's going to appear in OneNote's Kindle Scribe notebook. It may take a few minutes. Changes made on your Kindle won't sync automatically. Okay, so on my phone, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to Documents in my OneDrive. And then I should have a new, actually I have two because I've done this before. Uh, so my main Kindle Scribe folder is here, but the new one that it just created for this test, it just called Kindle Scribe 1. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And here we've got the testing OneNote that we just uploaded. Let's go ahead and take a look at this and there is our file um, so very simple uh, import export process for onedrive and very uh, simple export to onenote now i can take this since this created a brand new onenote file that is going to you know capture all of my kindle scribe notes i can take these notes and i can copy them or move them into other uh, onenote uh, I guess notebooks that I've got if I wanted to integrate those into existing notebooks which I do and I can't show you that because my notebook is very work specific and contains confidential information so there you go it's that easy uh, very good integration I, I like the way that they did that I love the fact that it keeps your hyperlinks uh, as well as your annotations um, I've been able to import some fairly large PDF files into uh, the Kindle Scribe. For example, I've got two different Bibles that uh, are in PDF format. And one of them is 173 megabytes, imports just fine. The other one uh, is the Study Bible, has a ton of references. It's, it's thousands of pages and it's over 800 megabytes. That one uh, will not import. It's too large for that. I don't know what the limit is, but I can tell you that it does those that 173 megabyte just fine. Uh, anyway, hopefully that was helpful. And uh, if you like the video, uh, be sure and hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.